Is Cinch Gaming's PS5 controller worth your money? Let's find out. What's up, homies and homies? I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing a deep dive onto the Cinch Gaming controller, which gives you the back button attachments, much like your scuff or any other controllers. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video. Also, I do stream every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Link down below in the description. Make sure you stop by. I'd love to see you there. You just got your brand new PS5 or the Xbox Series X, but your existing controller doesn't work with your new PS5. Xbox does allow for the use of their Elite Series 1 or 2 controllers, but on the PS5, if you have a scuff controller or any other PS4 controllers, you can use them only on PS4 games, but not, a, not any PS5 games. That's where Sense Gaming comes in and saves the day. With the choices for PS5 custom controllers being fairly slim, other companies are either short on components or just don't have the controller available whatsoever. Battle Beaver is able to take orders for the PS5, but their next batches are due to be late summer 2021. And Scuff has yet to release any plans on where their version of the next gen controller for the PlayStation 5 will come out. If you are savvy enough though, you can DIY buttons on the back of your controller by using the Extreme Rate Pack. Maybe time consuming, but it could be worth it in the long run. I chose the easy route and visited cinchgaming.com to purchase my controller. To be frank, I wasn't too aware of this company. They have been around for a few years or so but i saw them come up my timeline twitter i was in the market for it so i went ahead and bought one besides i am the perfect customer having both the ps4 scuff and the xbox elite 2 controller i needed something to be on par for my ps5 just to make sure that my kd doesn't drop while playing games such as warzone and apex Legends. the ordering process is very simple you have a myriad of color options to choose from so you can make your controller as minimal as possible or as crazy as you'd like they recently just made some additions they added smart triggers to the back of the controllers as well as the smart grips to help with comfort while you're playing your games overall the shipment time took about four to five weeks just faster than a lot of other companies battle beaver typically takes 30 to 60 days scuff also takes usually five to six weeks to get a controller out but mine was a bit more delayed because i made changes while the order was being processed i saw that they added the back grip to it so i had to get this added to my controller but if i ever purchase a second controller i'll make sure to have my mind made up on what i want on it and go ahead and just purchase it that way you do also have the option to send in your existing ps5 controller and get any of the additions added to that to reduce the overall price of the controller as of june they have quadrupled their staff in order to help expedite a lot of the ordering process and make sure that the controllers get into the hands of the gamers a lot quicker for my controller i elected to go with the smart grip stock analog sticks because i use control freaks anyway blue buttons a black face and the red playstation logo. the back buttons are marked with, with x and circle the buttons themselves feel incredibly responsive and you can hear the feedback come in as you're clicking each button after a few matches i felt as comfortable as i do playing on my pc with either my scuff or my elite controller i wish i would have gone with the smart triggers but it is not really too bad of a difference there are a few cons as far as the build process and the ability to change settings on the controller scuff has the remapping chip that allows you to change any of these settings to any of the other buttons on the front and xbox has an application either on pc or on the xbox that allows you to remap the four pedals to any buttons you like on the to me it's not too much of an issue because once i set something up i tend to kind of keep it that way anyway for if you decide to ever change your settings or change the way that you play you're kind of stuck with the same button layout as you purchased as you can see on the cinch gaming website you are able to, to select different buttons that you would like to show on those back buttons so you're not just stuck with x and circle another small issue that i noticed it may just be me nitpicking but the social media pages show different versions of the colors that are not available on the website i guess i'm a bit salty because i wanted my lakers colors on my control maybe next time as far as the quality control goes i did notice some issues on my controller first off the touchpad button anytime i press it it tends to get stuck right in this spot right here and i noticed that the back smart grip isn't closed all the way so there is a little bit of a gap but it doesn't really affect the overall performance the buttons still work as intended I just have to make sure I don't press here, otherwise it'll get stuck. My only other gripe is that I wish that the light would shine through like it does with the stock PS5 controller to let me know that the microphone is on or off. For any issues beyond this, Cinch does offer either a 30 day warranty or an optional extended six month warranty to help against any manufacturer. It doesn't cover if you smash your controller in a raging fit, however. Overall, I am pleased with my purchase. I still need to break it in some more and get used to it. Since his customer service team was very responsive and helped out a lot in terms of making all the changes that I had to make to my controller and giving me shipment details and things like that. We're also able to provide a resolution rather quickly to any questions or concerns that I had. In summary, yes since his ps5 controller is worth it and i feel like the company has just barely started scratch the surface and they will get better over time 
So give them a chance, check it out. Post the website down in the description. Go in and check yourself out for either the PlayStation controller or their Xbox options as well. If you like the video again, please like and subscribe. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Thanks people, have a great one.